ladies and gents. <laughs> um, welcome to the Fry's Family Feel Good Food Stand. Um, today we have Lisa Raleigh, who is a South African celebrity. She's a wellness expert, a fitness expert. She's helped some people lose over 60, 70 kgs, Lisa. Yeah. About 60 or 70 kgs. So if you've got a weight problem, or you just want to lose a little bit of weight, or you want to get a little bit fitter, Lisa is the person to speak to. I'm Tammy Fry, one of the Fry's family members. Wally Fry, who is the founder of Fry's, is my father. So very much a family business. And we are all vegetarians, just so that you know that. <laughs> the core of our business, we only do vegan food. And I'll hand over to Lisa. She's going to be showing you how to prepare a really healthy burger. Well, this is one of my favorite meals because it is really quick and easy. So in five minutes, you should be able to start and finish your burger. So step number one is that you have to put the burgers onto the heat so that they are cooking whilst you're doing the preparation. You can put them onto a pan and you can dry fry them or you can use a little bit of coconut oil or a little bit of olive oil. They do have some natural fats inside them so that does ooze out and give them their own kind of texture and crisp so you don't always have to add fat but it always tastes nicer if you do add a little bit of something. Or you can put them into the oven and you can grill them or bake them and they'll still get a nice crunchy texture like that. So my burgers are on the heat cooking. Then I would like you to grab some whole wheat rolls or some brown rolls. And the idea behind that is that the more fiber you've got in your product, or in your uh, carbohydrate, the lower the GI of that product, which means it's going to sustain your energy for a very long period of time. You know, white is out and brown is in. That is the fact. And the reason being is because white flour, white sugar increases your blood sugar. So you get this natural high of energy and then you crash back down again, craving more of that food. So you always want to try and go brown or whole wheat because of the extra additional fiber, which is good for the digestive system, but also because it's, it sustains the energy and makes it last just that much longer. So then it's up to you to decide what to put on your burger. I'm just giving you an indication of what I put onto my burgers. So a lettuce is always a good start and there are a huge variety varieties of lettuce from your iceberg lettuce, cos lettuce, butter lettuce and you get ones like this which are nice and purple which contain all different nutrients. I then add to my burger a little bit of rocket. Rocket is full of your, your uh, phytochemicals which is your anti-cancer fighting agents. Okay, I think that's enough rocket, cool. Slice some tomato. Tomato is really good for you both raw and cooked. It's got a product in it called lycopene and that is also an anti-cancer property. So just putting one or two slices of your tomato on your burger. You can add a little bit of cheese. Cheese tastes good. It's not necessarily that healthy. So you could add a bit of the white cheese, like a mozzarella. You could crumble some feta onto your burger or just a thin slice of gouda. It's not gonna kill anybody. If you don't like dairy products or they give you some kind of sinus or mucus in the body, then just eliminate it. But today we're going to have a little bit of decadence because you've got to compete with that burger down there. Okay. So Tam, tell us a little bit about why you're wearing that very sexy shirt of yours. Oh, this is a very sexy shirt. They've been made by the Holmes Brothers in Durban. Um, they're hand stitched and they're made of organic cotton. We sell them on the Meat Free Monday website and all proceeds go to charity. Fry's did start Meat Free Mondays in South Africa as a charity organization. We do a lot of CSR projects. In fact, next year, Wally, our combi, where's Wally, is going to be traveling around the country to 66 schools to speak about food choices and climate change to children and to explain to them about what they can do and how they can change their diets to improve their carbon footprint or to lower their carbon footprint. We all know that animal agriculture is one of the biggest causes of global warming. In fact, it contributes more greenhouse gas emissions than any other than anything else, and even more than all the world's transport systems, which is absolutely astounding. And if you eat two Fry's burgers or vegetarian burgers instead of two beef burgers, you take a car off the road for a day in terms of CO2 savings. So there's some really interesting facts that we have, and if you go to the Meat Free Monday website, you can research more about it, you can join our database, you can receive really stunning Meat Free Monday recipes. All right, so all I've added to my burger is a little bit of sliced cucumber, also great for fiber, and uh, adding some water to the colon. Then it's time to choose what topping you would like on your burger. So if you're wanting a little bit more fatty kind of sauce, then this is a mayonnaise. We all like mayonnaise, I also like mayonnaise, with a little bit of sweet chili. 
Okay, so that's like a, a chili naze, if you want to say that. Then you can get something like a pesto. This is a red pepper pesto. It is full of fats, but it's all the healthy fats. Okay, so it's your, your pine nuts and uh, olive oil. So it's good for the hair, skin and nails. But if you are watching your weight, then maybe you want to avoid that and either go the dry burger, no butter, and uh, no margarine. Or you can add this, which is onion marmalade. It's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try that today. I'm gonna put a little bit spread over my burger. It's got a nice sweet flavor to it, which really adds to the flavor of my burger. And just make sure that when you are cooking your patties, that you make sure that they get a nice crispy look. So I'll just lift this one up here. And can you see that they've got a, a brown look to them? They're nice and crispy. All right, you don't want to have a burger that looks anemic, especially when it's so full of good protein. Okay, so we're gonna pop that on top of our burger, like that. Add a little bit of black pepper and Himalayan rock salt for seasoning. We use Himalayan rock salt as a, as a substitute really to your regular salt because it has all the 84 trace elements and minerals and it's very good for people that suffer from cramps or that just like salty food, like for instance me. I don't like anything that tastes bland. So your cheese will melt and put your seed. Now look at that, that is definitely not big enough for that burger, eh? <laughs> that is a big oh, burger. <laughs> no. So there you go, you've got all your your carbohydrates, you've got your protein, which is your burger, and then you've got your, probably about half a cup of raw salad, so that's gonna add your fiber, your nutrients and minerals, a little bit of your cheese, which is also a bit of a protein, but also your dairy, and um, yeah, voila, and it took me all of five minutes to make, so it is really quick and easy if you've had a really rough day at work, and your kids can enjoy them as well, because almost all kids enjoy burgers, and if you wanna have something on the side, then you can slice up some sweet potato and some regular potatoes, put a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil onto a tray, toss the potatoes in this coconut oil, put a bit of your Himalayan salt, a bit of cayenne pepper and grill them under the oven. And those you could just put around your burger as your healthier options for chips. So quick and easy. Okay, see that a vegetarian burger only has three grams of unsaturated fat, which is the good fat. And the Fry's products contain all eight essential amino acids. They're a complete protein. So you're getting all your protein in one meal. So who would like to try a little piece of the burger? Because I think we must cut these into little nibbles. Give you a toothpick, a little variety of some sauces, and please come up to the front and just try out the burgers and see what I mean when I say they are delicious, they taste just like meat but healthier, perfect for the meat-free Monday alternative. So what do you think of the Fry's burgers? I think they're awesome. And they're very tasty. So what do you think of the burgers? It's great. Um, I do triathlon and I've been looking to cut meat, cut my saturated fats, just to stay lean, basically to stay competitive. And having vegetarian food was very bland for me, but this actually has a really great taste.